studio. I'm here in my kitchen. We're at it again. Listen, uh, I was out this morning for a meeting and uh, happened to be in Starbucks. So on my way home before I left, I thought I'd buy a matcha latte. What you need to understand here is this matcha trend is not just us. It's not just me out there. This thing has been happening for many, many years. It's a trend that's unfolding. Can't ignore it. It's happening. But, you know, one of the things is we've got uh, Starbucks is now offering matcha lattes. And I went out and I bought one, and I wanted to kind of understand how they were making it, a little bit about it, so I asked the guy some questions. But the interesting thing is, I've looked it up on the internet, and um, I think it's important for you to understand really what's in it. Did you know that uh, a, a matcha latte, this one here that I bought, is a non-fat milk uh, matcha latte. It contains 56 grams of sugar in it. 56 grams. That's uh, 14 teaspoons of sugar in a Starbucks matcha latte. In comparison to energy drinks, Red Bull has nine and a half teaspoons of sugar. Monster has 13 and a half teaspoons of sugar. And Rockstar has 15 and a half teaspoons of sugar. So, you know, you could be picking up a matcha latte at Starbucks and thinking, oh, okay, it's matcha. I'm hearing all this stuff about matcha and how healthy it is and good for you. You know, I think I'm kind of getting some benefits from it. And, you know, it's kind of, kind of, I don't really like it, but, you know, lots of people are really raving about matcha lattes at, at Starbucks, but you got to understand, it's loaded with sugar. That's why you're liking it. So, you know, you're getting, you're getting some matcha. The other thing is, I went online and I tried to understand where Starbucks is getting their matcha, and they're not saying it. They're calling it, uh, I think they're calling it Tezo matcha. But, you know, they refer to the ceremonial tea in Japan, the ceremonial process with the Buddhist monks, but they're not saying that their matcha is ceremonial matcha tea from Japan. So, you know, when you look at the ingredient list, it's quite high in caffeine and, you know, the amount of sugar in it. You know, when you take, when you take our matcha, you got one gram of sugar per serving. One gram. And you know where the sugar's coming from? Blueberries and pomegranates. It's all natural sugar. There's none of this. None of this. One gram of sugar. You know, and you can mix it up. I just put it in some hot water here. You can mix it up. You know, and drink it. And you know, there's no reason to hide it with milk. There's no reason to add sugar in it to sweeten it. The blueberries and pomegranates give it a real nice sweet taste. And everybody's loving it. You know, you can open up the packet. Put up the packet here, put it in your water bottle, get the top on here, there we go, and shake it up, that's it, you know, no processing, you know, look at that nice green color, it's matcha green tea, and you can drink it right out of the water bottle. I don't need to add sugar, I don't need to add milk or anything like that. You know, the other thing I wanted you to know is, you know what I paid for this matcha latte? I paid $4.25 for this cup of matcha latte. You know, and I get all that sugar in there, I get all that filler, and I get that sweet taste. You know, that's why we are so addicted to sugar. That's why we're loving. We're loving this stuff. You know, you know I paid uh, $3.49 for a Red Bull, $2.99 for a Monster, and $3.19 for a Rockstar. You know how much one packet of that is? One packet at retail is three dollars. Would you like to buy it at wholesale or retail? At wholesale, it's two dollars and six cents, and we can show you how to get it at wholesale. So you know, two dollars and six cents. You do get all the health benefits of a ceremonial matcha tea. You know what you're getting. There's no sugar. You know, you want to drink all that sugar. Four dollars and twenty-five cents, and it doesn't even taste that good. It's loaded with sugar. You can taste it. So you know what? Just wanted to share that with you. I'll, uh, I'll put up a little bit more information here online, but I wanted to share that, uh, you know, a quick video with you, and I just thought it was kind of interesting. So I'm going to take my, uh, my matcha latte here, and I'm going to dump it out in the garbage. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're having some fun. And you know what? you got to get yourself some of this BioSlife matcha. Fantastic. Great energy. Tastes good. Get yourself a box of it. Month's supply. Uh, you know, mix it up. You can do the water bottle. You can get this little mixer here. And 
really easy to mix. You don't need to be going to Starbucks. You don't need to be doing the energy drinks. You get the same energy benefit, no crash. You get all the health nutritional benefits. You, it, with this, you know what you're getting. So you're going to start to see as time goes on, there's going to become more and more matcha is going to hit the marketplace. This thing is growing. The momentum's building. Starbucks is into it. You're going to see other coffee shops. In Japan, they've got matcha Oreo bars, Kit Kat bars, and everything. But you really got to become a, an educated consumer on matcha and understand the difference between food grade matcha and ceremonial matcha. There's a difference. And the ceremonial matcha is the one that has the high nutritional benefits. So when you're getting other things that are food grade, lower grade matcha, it doesn't have the nutritional benefits, doesn't have the energy punch. You're getting energy, you're getting the wake up from the sugar. Just like you do from all this, sugar and caffeine. Over here, you want the true health benefits, this is where it's at. So you know what, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you real soon. Hope you're having a great day. Take care, bye bye.